What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Logistical Styles coming at you with another video. And today we are going to take a look at how or um, how I use iTunes or Apple Music to organize playlists and utilize them with Algorithm DJ Pro. So uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, one, I use playlists primarily. Pr primarily I use my playlist within uh, Apple Music or iTunes. I'm going to call it iTunes because that's what uh, most people know it as. It's got its name changed a couple years ago to music, um, but it gets confusing for some people because there's Apple Music, which is the streaming platform, and people will confuse it. Apple Music, Apple Music, you know, they're the same name, but two different uh, products. So, we're, we're going to do, I'm doing a screen recording here in, um, on my Mac, and I am in uh, my iTunes playlist. Now, I use iTunes uh, mainly for a couple of reasons. One, it's the software that I first started using or organizing MP3s with. Uh, I was a vinyl-only DJ. I moved into CDs for a little while, but still maintained vinyl. But when Serato came out, a couple of years after Serato came out, I got into uh, using a laptop and having to work with mp3s and wave files well just did digital uh, music so it's kind of like the first program I've used I stick with it I know how to find what I want using it uh, some people say the search on it isn't that great and it's got some um, downfalls or some um, cons to it but for me it works well I, I'm either just gotten used to the shortcomings of it or I just you know have found workarounds but one thing I do another reason I do love to use iTunes is because every DJ program has a checkbox in the settings that allows you to read your iTunes library, whether you're in Serato, uh, Virtual DJ, Tractor, Rekordbox, and DJ Algorithm, Algorithm DJ on the laptop, they all have the option to read your iTunes library, including your playlist. So for me, it's like a one-stop shop. It's where I make my playlist that um, I make them first there, and then I may make crates within uh, Serato or whatever they call it in the other programs. But to me, I think that is the best feature right there, the cross-platform compatibility. And now that I'm using Algorithm DJ Pro, I'm just going to say DJ Pro, now that I'm using that on my iPad more and more, um, I need to be able to be comfortable with my library and the songs that I have there. And now most DJs, or I hope... I hope all DJs, but most DJs, should know that it's more important to have music locally stored on whatever device you're using uh, for your music uh, versus streaming it exclusively. There's nothing wrong with streaming. I do with streaming. I love it. It comes in really handy at events. I'm streaming uh, music at a wedding I'm doing tomorrow for a part of the dance. Um, but you have to learn the limitations of it, and you have to learn... Um, that you can't trust it exclusively. So you have to have music stored locally on your device. Now you can get music on your iPad in a number of ways, but for me, the easiest way is to connect my iPad to my computer, in this case, my Mac, and open up uh, iTunes. And then in iTunes, you will see the uh, iPad shows up under devices. And when you click on that, you'll take a few seconds for it to sync up and then once that's there, you see all the songs that are on the iPad. If you go into your sync settings, now, in this right here, it opens up a new window. This is a finder window. This is not iTunes, so keep that in mind. You start off in iTunes or music, but when you go and you click on the iPad and you click the sync settings, it brings you into uh, a finder window. And this is where you set the sync. This is where you set the sync settings. So you go over here. You can choose what you want to sync up. Are you syncing music, movies, TV, whatever? In our case, we're syncing up music. So let's go into the music section, and then you'll see the options that you're given. And that is to sync music onto your iPad. That's my iPad's name. So I got that checked. And you choose what to sync. You can sync your entire music library 
or you can sync just selected artists, albums, genres, and playlists. Now, I don't have a huge iPad. This iPad, I think, is a 256 gig iPad, so I can't sync my entire music library as much as I would love to. If I eventually get an iPad Pro with a terabyte, then yeah, I'll be able to sync my entire library, but for now, I can't do that. But you can select certain artists, albums, and playlists. I'm always selecting playlists. And you have the option to include your videos. I'm not gonna do that. Videos take up too much space. And to automatically fill with free space. I don't want you to do that because I space is at a premium on this laptop. So if you go under those options they gave you, artists, album, genre, playlist, you can select and put check marks against what you wanna uh, sync up. So what I do is I go into playlist and depending on what gig I'm going to be doing, what type of gig I'm going to do, I'll select certain playlists. So this is Afrobeat. Now, I always keep uh, the playlist with my mixes available. So that's my backup in case I ever need to throw on something uh, while I'm fixing a problem or going to the bathroom or whatever. I can pull up a, a mix and let that run. Um, pop music, recently added. I usually keep that checked. Um, and then can tell I was doing like a urban set so I had my dance hall my clean urban my R&B and then those are the songs that are going to sync up with your iPad so let me add like k-pop so once I checked it now you just hit apply and it is going to sync up and you, if you see look on your iPad you'll see uh, on the top right corner you'll see a little circle little um two little arrows going in a circle that means that it's syncing up and uh, it, it just works so suddenly now if I go and look on my iPad things have refreshed and now I see the k-pop playlist is now on my iPad and I can play that music without streaming and not having to worry about my Wi-Fi connection so it's really that easy and it's still syncing things up as you can see on the Mac so you have to, all you have to do is just hook up your iPad to your Mac or your P, this works on PC as well hook it up and when you go into iTunes you will see your iPad show up as a device and then when you click on it you get the option to go into your sync settings and it goes into this window right here where you can select which playlist you want to sync onto your iPad and what's cool about it is it tells you how much space you're using with all this music. So you got to keep in mind that if you use this iPad for other things, you may end up having like pictures and documents and stuff taking up space. And that's why I select the playlist I want to use per event. And it, it just really works. And it, even with uh, weddings, so like... Uh, I've had certain events so this was an anniversary party and they had some requests so I just made a playlist in iTunes grabbed the songs put them in there and then synced it up to my iPad and I was able to uh, work the party that way so this is just a little pointer a little trying to drop some knowledge for y'all so you can see that uh, using an iPad actually is gonna be like a reality for some folks especially if uh, DJ Pro starts getting better with their stem separation and what uh, some of the other features that they've been having. I've, I love it. I haven't had any issues with it yet. And like I, I use this to DJ with for any gig that's two hours or less or if it's a specified theme. And I know that I'll be able to work specifically off those playlists. Now, if I'm doing something bigger and I want to have my full library with me, then I, I bring my laptop in and I'm usually running Serato. But as these things get better and I get a bigger iPad that can handle my full music library, I think I might start using my iPad more and more for DJing gigs. As long as Apple Music or iTunes is still a viable platform for me to manage my music. But uh, anyway, this is the tip from the day and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep looking out for more videos. Peace.